Stu Leonard, let's talk turkey because it's that time of year. You bet. So when holiday shoppers come into your stores over this Thanksgiving holiday, are they going to be paying more for their bird or less? Well, you know, we have two main turkeys we sell. One of them is a fresh turkey. We raise the price from $1.49 to $1.69. Still cheap, you know, when you think of the price of a protein like that. We have another turkey, which is this one I brought, free range, no hormones, no antibiotics. You know, it's, it, I've been down the farm in Pennsylvania, family business. This is what I'm serving for Thanksgiving, $2.99 a pound. This price went up a little bit too, but we're leaving the price at $2.99. And what about the rest of the Thanksgiving meal? Uh, any inflation there? Well, you know what? We saw, uh, we saw shrimp prices have come off a little bit and ham prices have come down. So you know what? The turkey price might be up a little bit. Ham prices are down. Basically, when you get all done, if you look at your stomach and what you ate after Thanksgiving, I think you're going to pay just as much this year as you did last year. Now, you mentioned free range for your turkey. We've had this whole move towards organic eating. Yeah. Can you tell me how it's affected your business? Because Whole Foods really shocked the market. Now it seems though everyone's heading that way. Kroger's. What's Stu Leonard's doing? Well, I think what, what's happened, I've been in the business, we have a family business with our four, four food stores. And we've been selling food, I've been through 40 Thanksgivings, you know, right now. And what everybody wants to do is what's in this bird? You know, you, you look at some of the popular ones out there, they actually inject it with some fluids. Now, when you read the label, you see things in there that you can't understand. What people want is an all-natural product right now. So this one has no hormones, no antibiotics. If I fed this turkey organic corn and, and soy bean, it would be organic. So it's right up to the level, except the problem with organic is you got to pay like 2 3 $4 a pound more. And are you able to pass that higher price on to your customers? Are they willing to pay for something that just yeah. says organic? See, what, what I feel overall about organic, and we do sell uh, many, many organic uh, products at the store, and there is a customer that just goes, I want organic. Um, and they come in and they're willing to pay for it. Personally, as far as food value goes, I like the ones, no hormones, no antibiotic, humanely, ra humanely raised, you know, sustainable family farm. I know, I've been down and ate and drank with the farmer. Now, we keep hearing that prices of gas and oil are lower, and it's not going to the department stores. Is it going mm. to Stu Leonard's? Are people going and shopping more at places like yours? Is that where the money from uh, the, the cost savings is going? Well, I, I think the, the Thanksgiving meal is the first time really the family got together since school started. So I think it's the, it's the family looks at everybody getting together right now. I feel right now from our catering orders, we have StuLeonard's.com. We have a gift basket business, you know, Stu'sGifts.com. I feel right now we're seeing orders very strong right now. So, so I feel like the extra money people have in their back pocket, they're going to spend it on, on uh, Thanksgiving holiday. All right, and then talk about the expansion of Stu Leonard's. You're actually moving to Long Island. You've traditionally been a Connecticut stalwart. You have stores up there, but you're moving to Long Island. Can you talk about your expansion plans? Well, that's where you're from. That's why we're moving out there. Strong Islander. We even brought our best-selling coffee. We're, see this one? We got our best-selling coffee here. We did a, I like that. a coffee label for you. But um, uh, no, we're going to Long Island. We're going to open in January. Uh, my cousin Dan's going to run the store out there. And so you know, we're not a big fast growth public company like a lot of other CEOs you have on, on here, but we're just uh, uh, right around New York. We're in Connecticut. We're up in Yonkers, New York, and we're, we're excited about Farmingdale. And you are a family business. Can you just give me a little bit about the history of Stu Leonard's and where you see it going from here? Because we've seen a lot of consolidation within the, the supermarket chain industry, within the grocery industry. It's a very tough industry, very small margins. So talk about Stu Leonard's history and where you see it going. Well, one of the things that we feel is important is you have, first of all you have to have great product we've had all these competitors open up around us over the years and we've continued growing the basic i think since we started as farmers and in the dairy business is we really want fresh good food at the stores that's the first thing second thing we've been one of fortune 100 best companies to work for for 10 years in a row so we take really good care of our people and we believe in, in customer service so we want everybody walking out with a big smile on their face. And I say to everybody at the store, our goal for Thanksgiving is when the meal's all done, everybody sits there and goes, boy, that was good. 
let me have another glass of wine. <laughs> All right, well, thanks a lot for coming, Stu Leonard. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Great, thank you. And thank you for watching The Street.